I think the technology that has the most impact on our life is, um, you know, for one thing, it's the GIS. Because the GIS, it can have the big data of the city. It could map out all the criminals in the blocks or all the data we need. Um, of the, the urban um, in the urban scale, and the other technology we have that changed our life tremendously is the uh, GPS. Um, it can actually capture the motion of the human being and how we move through the city. And the other technology that's changing our life that that is going to about to change our life is the age of AI, the AI artificial intelligence, and the uh, Google. Uh, the Google Glass, the visualization technology. I think um, technological development will continue um, impacting our life tremendously. It's going to change the way we think, change the way we act, um, change the way we talk to people, and also um, technology would come closer to our needs. Techn technical world would become more closer to the human world. Architecture and design as part of the cultural generator, as the part of the participant of the cultural environment, architecture and design should bring out the beauty within technology, to dis should discover the authenticity and the aesthetics of technological world. Different culture interpret technology differently. Like Chinese culture always been focusing on chance and chaos. So it's very close to chaos theory and, um, um, and mass production and stuff like that. And Islamic architecture, Islamic art always emphasize on accumulation of art from micro, um, from micro to macro. So Islamic art and technology, uh, Islamic art and architecture comes very close to modern technology. And Hellenistic architecture and Hellenistic art is always about proportion, classi classical uh, classification. And right now, um, the science in the Hellenistic world has changed from qualitative change to quantitative change. And um, the technology has changed from Material uh, from empirical science to material science. So art and architecture of those cultures, from uh, Chinese architecture or Islamic architecture or Hellenistic architecture, should reflect the change of technology. So um, up to 2050, we, we are going to have an extremely dense world. We are going to solve the question of met of great density in the city, urban density. And how do we use technology as a tool to resolve the question of urban density? We can, um, and we need to also think about the compatibility of urban density and landscape density. Um, taking the example of Hong Kong urban planning, Hong Kong has super high rise to solve the question of urban density. And meanwhile, it also have tremendous large park in between the super high rise as a way to balance out the density. So I think in the next generation of urban design and architecture, we should think about how would landscape architecture wave into architecture, how would landscape architecture come into the interior space, the architectural space, the infrastructural space of the urban environment.